Hello friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. And you wonder what's up with the shades, I guess. Well, I'll tell you. You've heard me mention many times that I am profoundly colorblind. Now that's the words of my eye doctor. You know, after being tested, he's, I asked him, I said, Doc, how colorblind am I? And he says, man, all I can tell you is you are profoundly colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he put it in very certain terms, you know, that uh, I am colorblind. About as bad as it gets, I suppose. Now, I've heard a lot of people say that they only see black and white and grays. And, you know, that's not true with me. I mean, I don't know about them, and I'm sure there are various different kinds of colorblindness. But I've always been able to see, quote-unquote, colors, but apparently I don't see them like everyone else sees them. And I've never, not one time ever, passed a colorblind test. Completely fail them. Don't see any of the numbers in those dots. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can find those online, colorblind tests. And all those numbers that are embedded in those dots, it's just like looking at a carpet and expecting to see numbers. There just isn't anything there. So, I had heard about these colorblind correction glasses. And <laughs> I heard about them a long time ago, maybe even a couple of years ago and was going to check them out and never did get around to it and then just recently one of my viewers and I'm sorry I didn't keep track of who that was mentioned that I ought to look into them again and they even sent me a link so I looked up that link and those were really expensive they were probably very nice glasses but they were very expensive so I got to just searching around thinking well I don't want to take a gamble on something that expensive that was several hundred dollars for those glasses that they had pointed out and I'm sure they're probably the best ones but anyway, I, I got to looking around. I found them on eBay. I found them on Amazon. And, and on eBay, you could get them really cheap. I mean, like, you know, 30 bucks or something, you know. And I thought, well, you know, I don't know. They're, they're not rated. You know, you can't tell if they're any good or not. So I went to Amazon. And the ones on Amazon were more expensive. They were like $68, this pair. And, uh, but they had a good rating. And people were writing down about what they found and what, what happened when they tried them. And I thought, you know... It just sounds kind of gimmicky. I just didn't expect it to work. Well, I'm here to tell you, I got no reason to tell you this other than just because it might help somebody. They do work. They absolutely work. How they work, I got no clue. I don't see how they could possibly just put some colored lens on your face and all of a sudden you can see colors. I can go to those color charts now and I can see the numbers in the charts. It's just flat amazing. It's, it's almost like a miracle to me. I mean, I'm driving down the road and I see things I just never ever dreamed were the color they are. You know, and just, even the road signs and things, they're just, you know, I had an idea of what color I thought they were or whatever. I had, a, I had my own way of dis, de, determining what colors were. But now, I mean, like for instance, red is just different than I expected. I mean, to me, red was... And, you know, it's hard to explain this to somebody that doesn't see it the way I see it. But I guess to you, you know, through my eyes, it, for you, it would have been, a, a red would have been kind of a dark, slightly reddish brown. I mean, that's kind of the way I saw red. Well, now red just pops. I mean, it's just like, it just jumps off at me. And, and it's just un, unbelievable. And, uh, like, just as an example, the, my car dash it looked just like clear lights to me, but now I see the blues in there and, you know, and like, and one of the biggest things of all time, there's two really big things. One of them was, you know, the signal lights that people always talk about. I could tell the red one, believe it or not, for the most part, that wasn't a problem. I pretty much could tell the yellow one, but the green one just shone completely clear, completely white. And so from a distance, you couldn't tell, is that a street light or is that a signal light when it was green? Well, with these, I can see that green a mile away, and I can just, and it's bright green. I mean, it's just obvious. I don't, it is so cool to be able to see that. And uh, one more thing is that, um, and this one here, you, you'll take some imagining on your part, because it's not, you wouldn't even think this is a color thing. But like in the twilight of the evening, when people start turning their headlights on and their taillights are on, but it's not dark yet, you know, it's just dim outside. Well, in that condition, I cannot even tell their taillights are on. Literally look at them and all I see is kind of a gray blur across the back there. But the, I can be looking at those taillights, put these on, and it's just like you went from nothing to a 100 watt light bulb. I know, 
I know it sounds crazy, but it's just like that. I, I, this instant I put these on, the tail lights are right there. It's like, holy mackerel. I didn't know I should be able to see those lights. I couldn't see them before. Not at all. Now, of course, when they hit their brakes, they got brighter, and I could see that. But now it's even brighter. So, I mean, it's, it's like, man, these are, if for no other reason, if you're colorblind, you should be wearing these just for driving. For no other reason. You should just wear them for driving. Now, the sad news is there's two, there's, you know, I've told you the good stuff that it really does work. But there are some negatives. First of all, when you first put them on, especially at the beginning, everything has a pink cast. The longer you wear them, apparently your brain adjusts to that or something, and the pink starts to fade a lot. If you look at a white cloud out in the sky, yeah, it'll still be a little bit pinkish. But it's not bad, you know, it, and, and it's a good trade-off, in my opinion. Um, the next negative is that they uh, don't work well indoors. They work indoors, but you're going to have more light. If, if, there's, if it's a brightly lit room, then they work just fine. They even work watching television, you know. I'm, I'm seeing, I watched uh, the inauguration yesterday and uh, couldn't believe the red, whites, and blues, you know. I mean, it was just unbelievable that I had just never really seen before. And um, it just, it, it's an amazing thing. And, and I guess the last thing that's a negative is that they look kind of dorky. I mean, with the color and everything, it looks kind of... But, you know, fashion, I could care less about. So, I, I understand that you can get these in prescription, I believe. And I am nearsighted, so I don't need them for... I don't need prescription glasses for up close. But for the distance, um, I do need them. But strangely enough, this has even cleared up a little bit of that because my eyes are not that bad. I, even though I need them for... Even though I am nearsighted... I can, you know, with these on, apparently the colors quit blurring together, so things have gotten less gray and it's a little more distinct. Now, I still need prescription glasses for, for distance, but it's really cleared that up a lot, I think. I mean, when I'm wearing these without prescription, it's almost like I don't need the prescription glasses now. It's amazing. It's just amazing how, how they work. So the reason for this video is to tell you that if you're colorblind, you ought to give these a shot. And, I, and there was one more negative that I forgot to mention, and that is that they do not work, apparently, for everybody, depending on the kind of colorblindness you have. I am predominantly red-green colorblind, and I guess that's why I had so much trouble with the reds and the greens, you know, and they couldn't see that green uh, signal light. But anyway, I'll quit rambling about it. It is just the coolest thing on earth to be able to see the real colors of things. And I imagine these probably distorted a little bit, but at least I'm getting close. You know, I'm in the ballpark now where I wasn't even close before. Um, okay, the other thing I wanted to mention in this uh, little clip here is that uh, I've updated my website, the for sale page especially. I put a beginner guitar out there, which I think is a killer guitar. You can see a picture of it, and you can even hear me playing it a little bit. And, uh, I mean, for the money, in, in comes set up. I'll do a little bit of a quick setup on it here. Now, I'm not going into detail, but I, I make it easy to play. Make sure it's easy to play and make sure everything's right on it. And I ship it to you, and it comes with a very nice hard shell case, everything included, a Dreadnought guitar for $2.99. That includes shipping and everything. So it's, if, you're, if you're a beginner and you're looking for a decent instrument, I stand behind these. I think they're awesome. Uh, it's an Austin guitar, so look that up on the website on the for sale page. I also added some picks that I like. Um, I can add more picks on there if people are interested in certain picks, just let me know. But Right now, I just put the ones that, that I typically use for mandolin and guitar, the ones that I like, and they're all roughly about a millimeter thick. So if you are really like a particular pick that's out there, but you want it in a different gauge, let me know. We can possibly work that out. Um, finally, I also added on the for sale page a uh, setup service for brand new instruments. And uh, what this entails is, and it only applies to brand new instruments. So you could order an instrument online, like say one of those rogue mandolins, have it shipped directly to me, or you can ship it directly to me, either one, and I'll just do my quick setup and ship it back to you. And that's all detailed on the, on the uh, website there. So take a look at that. It also uh, you know, mentions it for guitars or any other stringed instrument. Just have that instrument shipped directly to me, and for like 40 bucks, 
I'll just go over it and make sure that it's it's in, set up correctly. I'll, you know, if the strings need to be lowered a little bit, I'll lower them or whatever it really takes to just make it play easy for you. And I'll ship it back to you. So there, that's detailed on the website also. So there are a lot of new things on the for sale page of the website. Be sure to check that out. And uh, if you're colorblind or know somebody that's colorblind, go ahead and do this. I mean, it's and maybe the last thing to say about this is don't expect too much when you first put them on. You have to kind of get adjusted to it. And like I said, that pink thing will drive you nuts for a while. But that eventually kind of goes away. I mean, it doesn't completely go away, but it mostly goes away. So try these things. They are cool, man. Thank you for watching. Thank you.